This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at Seagraph 2014. To my immediate right is Dr. Tristan Dai uh, from Neutem. And they're and you're uh, de developers of Project Perception Neuron. Yes, I am. W welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. So, so tell us about Perception Neuron. What is it? Okay, Perception Neuron is actually a affordable and adaptive motion capture system. You can use the system for different applications, such as uh, a virtual reality interaction, game interaction, and also film and uh, animation making. Different things, different stuff. Research, robotics. So when you say affordable, under normal circumstances, what, a, what would a device normally cost a, a developer? Okay, actually, uh, this is the modulized system, so you can get a 10 neuron package or 20 neuron package. The 10 neuron package could be used for like a hand motion capture like this, and the 20 neuron package could be used for a full body motion capture. And 10 neuron package is only 200 bucks, and for 20 neuron package is 375. So it is on Kickstarter right now, so we're looking for the fundraising to get this working prototype to a real product. So what would you like to achieve? So you're, you're, you're launching a Kickstarter, has it already launched yet? Yes, uh, this is the fifth day. We, uh, we have uh, still like uh, two thirds to go uh, to our target. So we're looking for uh, support to make this uh, working prototype to a professional product. Uh, we, we, we'll make uh, mass production to enhance the robustness and also lower down the cost of this manufacturing. So who would this be most useful to? And, and let me partially answer that question for you, because I, I could imagine, like I had done an interview earlier with another motion capture company, and they sell really expensive products, top, top grade products, but obviously very expensive. Uh, is this something that could be used by the independent game development community in VR? Yes, of course. So uh, the independent game developer, the individual filmmaker, or uh, like a, an animator artist, and also uh, for even for the consumer. So this system will come with like a lot of free and open source SDK and a demo game, so people can start to have fun right out of the box, and they can also try to build up their own application based on our uh, SDK and our open source uh, games. So our target is actually uh, the gamers, the developers, and uh, the producers. I mean, they don't have that much budget to buy uh, like uh, a few thousand, uh, I mean, uh, 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 45,000 US dollars system, but they can afford like a 500 bucks system. So that's our target. Now you, you speak of neurons. Why don't we talk a little bit about this glove? How does it work exactly? So, you know, this, this is one neuron. So we use, uh, we call this, uh, this neuron because it is our sensor. Uh, human brain uses neuron to sense different things, and we use our neuron to capture human body motion. So this is actually an IMU, a nine-axis IMU. There are gyroscope, um, a accelerometer, and a magnetometer inside each of those neurons. So the size of it is only like one cm by one cm, very small, uh, just a few grams. So you can place it in uh, uh, wherever place you want. Uh, on fingers, on your uh, body, on your arm, different places to do uh, for different application. So it is uh, uh, lightweight and very low energy consumption. So for a 13 neuron uh, package with one hub working on Wi-Fi direct uh, uh, condition, Wi-Fi transmission, a typical uh, USB power bank can give it like one day, a full day for this exhibition, a, a full day battery life. So. Uh, uh, this is the, the neuron. So we use like USB transmission or Wi-Fi transmission. For Wi-Fi, it is uh, under a like, UDP protocol, so you can send the data through your own Wi-Fi router. I just put your PC under the same router, and there you go. So you mentioned that there's going to be an open source software developers kit that goes with this, or like the software development kit. How far along are you? Uh, we have we already have all the drivers down, and we have like six demo games down, and we're we're planning to uh, prepare a, a very complete and uh, in detailed uh, document for all those uh, drivers and SDKs and uh, and also demo games. So all the assets, including the music and the models, and also the drivers, the pattern recognition algorithms will be inside the SDK. So the developers don't need to start uh, a game, start from the ground zero all by themselves. They can, we have, uh, for example, we have our pattern recognition algorithm for grabbing and release and throwing, something like this in our system. You can actually grab things like this, and you can throw them away. So that is the pattern recognition, and all those are included in the SDK. 
So, are there any? Is there any haptics with these gloves? Uh, not yet, but we we know it is very important for virtual reality for gaming reality to have some feedback. So right now, the only thing you can do is by looking at it and hear the audible feedback. We found that if you give some kind of audible feedback to the user, that helps a lot. So uh, later on, we are planning to add some like vibrators in the glove, so probably you'll be able to feel something when you really touch something or grab something. So that is very important. Now, how many, how many accelerometers or neurons per finger? So you got two fingers, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, right now, plus... actually, those are, uh, are only dummies. Okay. So you can choose to place more neurons here for higher accuracy and a better performance, say a very accurate grabbing posture. But for gaming action like this, I think uh, one for each finger is pretty enough. And is it, do you pick up the mo motion of each individual joint in the finger? Yes, yes we are. Although we only have one sensor for each finger, we have our IK algorithm and a forward kinematic algorithm to project the orientation and also the posture of the other body segments. So you will be able to see some gesture like this, although we only have one sensor for each finger. So how do you differentiate, and, and we don't have to name names, but there, there's all kinds of products that have body suits and so on. Yes. Um, what, in your opinion, what is the competitive advantage of what, of what you're offering, or maybe you're after a different market entirely? Yes, we are talking in a totally different market. Uh, actually, we, we sell. Uh, before, we, we manufacture like 45,000 US dollar system for Hollywood and other filmmaking industry. Uh, users. So for that kind of thing, the most important thing is accuracy and stable and cannot be wrong. And it, but it's not open and it is not, it is not affordable at all. So actually this is our first uh, consumer level product in this field, in this virtual reality or say the human machine interaction field. So we want to bring this uh, film production level technology, rocket science technology, down to the consumer level price and consumer level application. I think that is the future. Because right now, we have like Oculus Rift, we have like uh, a project Morpheus that is very good for uh, virtual reality or say uh, display. But that is only the output. So for the virtual reality application, we think we still need the input. So the input, uh, what is the very good input method for virtual reality, I don't think it is a keyboard or mouse because that will reduce the immersiveness of the virtual reality. By using human motion, hand gesture, or say your voice, that is the most natural way to interact. So this is the best way, I think. You can walk into the virtual reality. You can touch things. You can grab things. So that makes it totally different. So you have, you have a Kickstarter active now. How could people contribute to the Kickstarter? So we have a project uh, ongoing right now, and today is the fifth day. So we're, we're trying to uh, get enough money for the mass production, of course. So if people uh, think this kind of thing is useful for your or for his uh, application, for his uh, job or his study, his research, please back us. So if we get enough money for the mass production, we will be very happy to bring this kind of technology to the consumer. Remind me how much money you're looking to raise? Uh, right, now, uh, right now it is uh, already 1700 and our target is uh, uh, 250,000 US dollars. All right, very good. Well, good luck to you. It looks very exciting. And uh, this is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at Seagraph 2014. Thank you. Thank you for watching.